this morning was the old set out there by the fence at Road 8. You always fill the church from the back forward, and I figured, well, they'll be out in the back. Mike, you throw ahead, Patrick. Oh, it's the wind. Well, it's good to have you with us. Uh, have you come to worship the Lord this morning? That's weak. Yeah. Have you come to worship the Lord this morning? Yeah. That's more like it. <laughs> On Psalm 96, it says, sing to the Lord a new song. And that's what we're going to do here in just a minute. We're going to be singing to the Lord. And there are a lot of us here this morning that probably really need to sing a new song. Uh, we're going to talk about the early church this morning and what God wanted it to be and needed it to be. And uh, some of us maybe need to be singing a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. The church was established for all people in the earth. And that's a good thing. We can all come together here this morning. That was one of our, our main goals for FAMFEST was to bring a community together, a community of believers, and to let us just let our hair down and, and be who we are and love the Lord with all our heart, with all our soul. Sing to the Lord and praise his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day. And that's what we're called to do as the church, is to praise God and proclaim our salvation. We're to be prepared to give hope that we have in Christ Jesus to anybody who might need it. And there are people all around us, they live around us, they work with us, that need salvation, that need Jesus. So if there's some, some burden on your heart this morning, I want you to lay it at Jesus' feet right now. And I want you just to praise God and listen to the words. Some of you here are, are going to hear music that's maybe a little different than what you're used to. A lot of us won't know the words, but I want you just to settle your spirit down and listen to what they're saying and, and let it minister to you this morning. I'm going to pray before we get started. <laughs> Father, we thank you so much for your love, mercy, and grace that you show each and every one of us. Lord, we're so thankful that your mercies are new each and every day for each one of us. And Lord, we've come to praise you, we've come to worship you, we've come to glorify your name. And Lord, you're the God that can control the storm, you can speak to it. Lord, we're asking you to hold off the water until we're finished. Lord, you know all things, you're God of all things, and we trust you and we bless you and we give you all the glory and the honor. We ask you to settle your Holy Spirit down over us this morning to use us to touch people that need to be restored and renewed, that need to be encouraged this morning. So, Lord, thank you for what you're going to do, and we praise you for it all. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you.
thinking of, of, a, of a motto that Coca-Cola always talks about. They say, uh, think globally, but act locally. And I think about that all the time because I think, you know, we can touch the world, but we have to touch our home first. We have to touch the people around us first. And, and we have to... We have to be filled with the Spirit first and foremost. If we can't, if we can't rely on God, how are we going to teach the rest of the world to lean on the Lord? You know. So I, I thank you all for this weekend and the opportunity to just to see everybody fellowship together in Christ and in one accord and and touch each other locally. But we'll end up being globally. If we spread Jesus, we need to start with our homes. We need to start with the crowd. We need to start with the, the, the community. We need to start with the state, and then it grows and it grows and it grows. So as we're worshiping this morning and thinking about His amazing grace and what He means to us, think about that family. Think about the church family. Think about how we can touch each other right here and just praise God for all that He does for us today.
messed up and I've done the wrong things, but he's always been there welcoming me back. And I praise praise the Lord for, for that because I, I'm not perfect and if I had to be, I would have never been able to do it. Um, a lot of people who know me know that. But he is perfect and he's worthy of our praise this morning. show and we're hurting inside and, 
they, you know, some people wear their hurt, some people hide it, but there's a lot of hurting people. And I want us to just drop what the world has thrown your way and just think about that, how he loves us. And let's just let's just join together, one mind, one accord, and just praise God.
is no God above you. And Lord, we love you with all our heart. We praise you and give you the glory and honor because all the glory and honor is due you. Lord, you are love. God is love.